Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. So today we are learning how to play Rockabye. This song is quite easy to play. Let's get right into it. Um, for this song, we're just using four or five chords. So let's see how to play the chords first, then we'll get into the song. So the first one that we're using is A minor. Open on the fifth string, second fret, second fret, first fret, open again. Then the next one that we're using is F major. You can also play it this way if you want, but I like to play it this way. It's easy to switch between A minor and F like this. So we have third fret on the fifth string, third fret on the fourth string as well. Then you got second fret, and then you have a bar over here. All right. The next one that we're using is G major. So I'm using it like this. Um, third fret on the top string, second fret, open, 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 and third fret. You can play it this way as well if you want. And then the last one is E minor for now. So you got open on the top string, second fret, second fret, and all open. So that's what we're using for the first verse. It goes like this. We're just going to strum once on each chord for the first verse. All right? She works. In So far from my father's just wants a life. So as you can see, just strumming down on each chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. For the first verse, again. And one last time. And now when you come to the pre-chorus, that's when you can strum a bit, but still you're going to use the same chord progression over here. She tells him all love. No one's ever gonna hurt you love. So what we're doing over here is is strumming three times on each chord. One, two, three. And as you can see, right after the strum, you want to mute the chord. So you want to mute the sound of the chord. And there's two ways to do it. One way is to just, you know, put your palm on the strings right after you play it. Like that. That's an easy way to do it. Another way to do it is to relax your fingers with the left hand. So over here, you know, you relax your fingers and then you mute the sound. So when you press them, you're obviously going to hear the chord and when you release the fingers from the fretboard you don't have to take them off completely you will mute the sound of the chord like that so that's the way to do it all right so da 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 one two three one two three one now i would choose to play it this way because you can't do that on open chords open chords are where there are open strings so even if you relax your fingers, you're still going to hear those strings over there, right? So it's better to just, you know, uh, mute it with your palm. So she tells him all love. E minor. And just repeat it one more time, the whole thing. E minor to F, G to E minor, and again, E minor to F, G to E minor. And then you're going to come to the chorus of the song. Let's see how to play that. Now, for the first bit of the chorus, we're just going to strum all chords once. So, and again, two more times. Just playing all chords just once major stop on G and now you come to this part right this is sort of like the post chorus part now I've just added this on my own because I think it sounds beautiful if you want you can leave this out and you know you can play this strum pattern So 
So you can either do that, you know, just start with the chorus. This is the post chorus part, or you can do that. So let me show you how to play this post chorus part over here. So you have a A minor. That's what you do on A minor. So first you want to strum down. Then you want to pick the second string. All right, so. After that, you want to do a pull off. So from first to open on second string. All right, so. And then you come to F major. All right, you got your F major chord over here. Just strum down over there. And then after that, you want to do, basically, we're going to pick the fourth string, pick the third string, pick the second string. So if you put that all together, all right, right after that, you come to G major and you do this. So basically, we got G major over here. I'm not playing the first string. We're just going to strum down to the second string. And you can mute the first string by just, you know, putting your finger over there. Right? Not pressing it, just putting it over there. All right? G chord. Then you pick the second string by itself. All right? So. And after that, you again do a pull off from second to open on the third string. So, if you put all of that together, you'll get this. After that, you come to E minor chord. So, it's very easy. You just strum down on E minor. And then you can pick the fourth string, third string, second string. That is your, you know, post chorus part. So if you put all of that together, you'll get this. A minor, F major, da, 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 G major, and E minor. So on E minor, you're basically doing strumming down and then after strumming down, you just want to play, pick third string and second string. All right, so that's all you have to do on E minor. And just repeat that again. Now, you, now you know almost how to play the entire song. Let me show you what happens after the first chorus. So after the first chorus, you're going to come to the second verse, which is, I think, the rap part where Sean Paul is singing. And um, it's, you know, same as the first one, A minor. And you can do this drum pattern over here, down, 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 up, F major, down, 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 up, G major, down, 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 up, and E minor. That will, go, that will go on for the entire verse, for the entire rap part over there. And then you come back to the pre-chorus. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, 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 And you come back to the chorus again, where you know how to play it, same as first chorus. So rock the baby, rock the The whole thing. I'm gonna rock you. After that, you come back to the first chorus part where you can do this. Or you can just, you know, that part again. Now, right after the second chorus, you come to the bridge. And that is, again, very simple. What you're going to do is over here, you're again just going to strum once because that is what is happening in the song as well. You know, there's no beats over there on that part. So what you're going to do is A minor to F to G to E minor. Nash has got a six year old trying to keep him warm, trying to keep out the cold. Then you come back to F, alright? So after E minor, you want to come back to F major and then you come to E major chord. So that's a new one. Let me show you how to play that open 
open on the top string, second fret, second fret, and then you have over here first fret. So A minor, I'm just gonna six here, F major, G, E minor, back to F major, three, four, E major, One, two, three, four. And then you come back to the pre-chorus. She tells him all right. And you know how to play this pre-chorus because we've learned it already. And then after the pre-chorus, you want to come back to the final chorus of the song. And here, you know, you can keep strumming. And here you can use set strum pattern down, 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 down. So on each chord we're doing, that's what we're doing on each chord. Down, down, down. And you can continue playing that for the entire you know final chorus over there till the end and right after the final chorus you come back to that part that we learned and that's how you're going to end the song all right so if you've learned that part it's great because it's it works as your you know post chorus part and also your ending um, but if you don't know how to play this if you didn't learn it then you can just strum once on each chord during the very end f major g minor and again and that is all there is for this song rockabye i hope you liked it and um, make sure to give this video a like. Now I just want to show you the little lead part that I played during the demo for the chorus. That will go like this. You know, that's the little part that I played in the demo for the chorus. So let's see how to play that now. We're on 7th fret of 4th string. You're going to do it twice over there. Then you have 4 and 5 on 3rd string. So Then you have 5th fret on 2nd string and 5th fret on 3rd string. So And then 5th fret on the same third string and one fret down or you can also do a pull off and then in the end so four four five four on third string all right four four five four and back to your seventh fret on fourth string so that is all you have let's play it all together Just repeat it one more time. And yeah, that's a little lead part over there if you want to learn that for practice. So that is all there is for the lesson. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and goodbye.